morning everyone! Today is the 20th of December and I have decided since I have today off I am going to do a 24 hour Christmas themed readathon. So I have just gotten up, I have made some coffee um, and it is almost 8 30 so I think that's when I will call the official start of the readathon. Um, but yeah, I have today off, so I'm going to do a bunch of Christmassy things that I've been meaning to do and haven't gotten a chance to do yet. I mean, it's the week before Christmas, so, um, actually Christmas is in like five days, so I definitely have some things to get done. Um, and I have a couple of books picked out. The first is A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens because I have never actually read the original Christmas Carol because, I don't know, I guess there's just been so many adaptations that you get used to the story and you assume you don't need to read the original, but I'm really excited to see where all the adaptations get their inspiration from and retellings and whatnot. And yesterday I saw a play version of A Christmas Carol that a family member was part of and that really inspired me to pick up the original. And then after that I am hoping to read The Afterlife of Holly Chase which is another Christmas Carol retelling. So I am looking forward to that. If I do get bored of those things, I have another Christmassy themed book available. Those books are both audiobooks, so I'm hoping to be able to read those whilst I'm doing other things. I have cookies to bake and presents to wrap today, so um, those things kind of require my hands, so we're going to listen and do those things, but when I have a moment to kind of sit down and relax and read, I think I might pick up a physical book. So I might actually be able to get through three books, but I'm, I'm not going to count on it. I'm going to plan for the two Christmas Carol books and see what happens. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get started with this Christmassy themed day. been about an hour. I have gotten dressed. I put on this Pura Vida um, Keep Her Wild um, like crew neck shirt. Um, I love this. I got it with like some of the points I had earned so I like hardly had to spend anything on it and I got it during the like Black Friday sale. I love this thing. Um, I love their clothes, to be honest. I would never, like, promote something I don't like. So if you're interested in anything from Pura Vida, you can use my code RebeccaBrand20 to get 20% off your purchase. I truly love their stuff. Um, anyways, <laughs> this is an update on my reading progress. I'm about like very close to halfway through um, A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. It's very, very short. I'm on to um, spirit number two visiting him. Um, I'm just starting that chapter. So um, yeah, so far the play I saw yesterday, which was more of a musical um, rather than just a play, which I find most of the adaptations tend to be, um, but that one was the closest so far to the actual Charles Dickens book, which I guess makes sense because I feel like a lot of the times with things like this plays can really like adapt from the original, especially with something as short as this. A lot of the dialogue is like almost word for word. So I'm like, wow, I feel like I just like listened to this yesterday a little bit. But now I have had breakfast and I think I'm going to make a cup of tea. So I have a tea advent calendar from David's Tea here. Um, and I thought it might be fun to open that together. Um, let's see, today is, what did I say it was, the 20th? Wow, I can't believe we're so far through 
December. So let's see, 20 is on the bottom here. I am going to put this down again. Um, day number 20, let's see what it is. Oh, it looks kind of fruity. Um, it is called Sleigh Ride. Is that focusing? It's just so reflective. Um, let's see. I don't know what Sleigh Ride entails. On the back it does list all of them. So let's see Sleigh Ride. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, so this is Fruit Infusion. So it's got apple, candied pineapple, hibiscus, papaya, beetroot, cinnamon, um, almond flavoring. Ooh, there's coconut, so I hope that's not too strong because I'm not a big coconut fan. Um, and then this says to heat the water to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's get that going so I can have some tea. also might try this honey that uh, my cousin got for well it was for a Yankee swap but I won like the tea and honey basket um, it was actually my cousin's girlfriend um, made and I'm really excited to try the teas that she made too but this is a honey that I guess is local to where they are so I'm excited to try that Maybe later on I'll try one of the teas she made, because she actually made um, her own blends of tea with loose leaf tea. Okay, it still seems pretty hot, but it should have steeped long enough now. It smells... fruity and cinnamony. It kind of smells a little bit like when you're baking apples in the oven with cinnamon, but with like an added citrusy kind of element to it. That's like the best way I know how to describe what it smells like. Um, let's go ahead and give it a try. I did add honey to it already, so if it's too sweet, um, that might be my fault. Yeah, it tastes pretty much exactly the way it smells. Um, I'm mainly getting like an apple cinnamon kind of flavor from this. Um, oh, you jumped up on the table, bud. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. I'm not big on fruit flavored teas um, because they tend to... Hi, Jasper. You're getting all into my wrapping stuff. I've got all my, like, wrapping paper and things on the table because I'm going to be wrapping presents later. And he's in one of the boxes. Of course, the cat's going after the boxes. Um, anyways, um, this is pretty good. It feels a lot lighter. I tend to not like fruity flavored teas because they can bother my stomach a little bit with all the, like, acid kind of that's in them but this feels really light, so we're gonna give it a go, and I'm going to enjoy this tea, and probably finish listening to A Christmas Carol, and then maybe go out to Target. I say maybe because I really don't want to have to clear off the snow from my car, um, but I really should, and I should go out and get the few things early while I can, and then I can do the other things I have planned for today. So yeah, let's get going. It is 11 o'clock now. I just finished listening to A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. I give it four out of five stars. It is a classic for a reason. Um, it was very good. Uh, I definitely recommend you listen to the original. I feel like um, it was very good to see where all of these adaptations are coming from and the original 
content that it's based off of. So now I'm going to take a little trip to Target. Um, I let the sun kind of warm up my car a little bit, so I'm hoping it'll be easy to clear the snow off. And then I think there's also a package downstairs that was delivered that I will get to on my way back. So let's go take a little break from reading, go to Target, pick up a few things, and then we will start the afterlife of Holly Chase when we get back. It was way more crowded than I was expecting it to be. Although it's like four days before Christmas, so I don't know why I was expecting it to not be crowded. Um, I guess because it's a Monday and I was like, maybe nobody will be out on a Monday. Yeah, I needed more tape because I am almost out of tape, of course, right before Christmas when I need to wrap presents. So I had to get some tape. I also saw this super cute, um, it's glass, it's a coffee pot ornament and my boyfriend is obsessed with coffee so I picked this up for him I think I'll give it to him later today I'm not gonna save it till Christmas because it's an ornament so might as well like enjoy it um, I had to get some oat milk because we're almost out that's already in the fridge so I'm sorry you don't get to see our oat milk and then I was like maybe they'll have some like cheap cookie cutters that I can get for today so I got a classic little gingerbread man that I'm going to use today for cooking. Jespi, you're on the box. You're a boxaholic. This was the last box in this size. I think it's going to be perfect for what I need. So, hi buddy. He's like, mama, you took my box. You going to help me wrap presents, bud? I think that'll be the perfect box size for what I need. Jaspie's not a cuddle bug, unfortunately. But yeah, I'm going to um, finally start listening to The Afterlife of Holly Chase. I'm going to make some lunch, and then I'm going to make some cookies, wrap some presents, and go from there. Christmas spirit, I would like to see you dancing. Come on, take a first step. I love is gifted for you to help you through the river. I know you went through a lot, but why not take a second try? Hey, gingerbread man, where's your Christmas spirit? Tell me, where's your Christmas spirit? Road out the red nose reindeer, the red nose reindeer. Okay, I've got my dough chilling in the fridge for the next two hours before I can make cookies out of it. So um, I'm going to wrap some presents, but I am letting you know that I have made it to chapter five in the afterlife of Holly Chase. I'm really enjoying it. Um, so we are following um, a young girl named Holly who was essentially Scrooge and the three ghosts came to visit her and warn her that if she didn't change then she was going to die alone and miserable and she just kind of laughed them off and ended up dying and now she is kind of being forced to be part of this team of people who are kind of running this Scrooge project. So she is now the ghost of Christmas past and is like having to go to these people to try to change their lives. So it's really like a fun twist on A Christmas Carol. I'm enjoying it so far and I'm interested to see where it like goes with the story. I don't want to spoil too much, but that's kind of the gist of the story so far anyway. And yeah, I'm going to wrap some presents while I wait for my cookie dough to chill. 
and I'm going to keep listening to my book. Like Santa's helpers, wearing all the sweaters, have a seat by the fire. Eating candy cans while my heart is big, 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 and yeah. I got a squish mellow delivery. Let's open this up, Jaspy. Yeah? Because you want the box, I'm sure. Is it a very good box? Look who I got! It's Austin the Avocado wearing a Christmas hat. Look at him. He's perfect. He matches my sheets. Look at these happy avocados. Look at this happy avocado. What do you think of Austin, Jasper? Original Squishmallow. What does it say about him? Austin loves drawing aliens and dreams of one day living in space. He loves pretending that he lives on the moon or is climbing rock mountains on Mars. Austin became obsessed with outer space in school after reading a book about aliens. Will you help Austin plan his next space adventure? These are too cute. I only have this one and the black cat one that I got. I think two years ago for Halloween, but I love the few that I have. They're so cute. It's around four o'clock. I have about four hours left in the afterlife of Holly Chase. I'm really enjoying it. So the overall like plot is like I said, she's supposed to be helping kind of convince other Scrooge Scrooges <laughs> to be better people. And um, the Scrooge this year happens to be a really hot guy that Holly might be falling for. So 
it's been a very interesting dynamic going on and I've been really enjoying the story. But I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break now that the cookies are done and I'm going to just watch something on YouTube for a little bit and maybe try to figure out what to have for dinner. I just finished listening to The Afterlife of Holly Chase. I am going to, I think, call it a night for reading wise. Um, it was very good. I think I'm gonna give it five out of five stars. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I see why like Emma Books rereads it every year. It's a, a nice twist on A Christmas Carol. I did kind of predict the ending to an extent. Um, I'm not gonna give anything away though, <laughs> but yeah, it was still very, very good. Good morning, everyone. I thought I would take a second to kind of wrap up my thoughts and, ooh, the kitty, and wrap up this video. So let's talk about what I read. So I started out with the classic version of A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. This was about a three hour long audiobook, which I think is in part why it has been adapted into so many different versions, because not only is it like such a classic story, perfect for the holiday season, but it's also like the perfect amount of time to be turned into movies and plays and other story like books and stuff without it losing the essence of what it originally was which i think is really really cool i really enjoyed reading the original to see where all the adaptations have come from and to compare in my head all the different versions definitely the closest version i've seen was the play i went to see at a local theater it was like some of the dialogue was taken straight from the book and i was like okay yep this is something that i like just saw yesterday when i was reading the book um, there were a few, like, minor changes, like, the play included, like, tarot cards, which I thought was really interesting. Um, yeah, just some tiny tweaks like that, which is really cool. And then there's things like The Afterlife of Holly Chase that I read yesterday that takes, like, the idea of the classic story and twists it around into something new and exciting and I thoroughly enjoyed that book. I definitely give it five out of five stars. It was so good. I did predict the ending but I don't think that ruined it for me. I was like excited to find out how that was going to work out and what was going to happen so it was like a really good like oh I hope this is what's going to happen and then it did situation <laughs> but in the afterlife of Holly Chase um just to give you like a summary without going into anything spoilery um or too spoilery maybe minor spoilers so in the afterlife of Holly Chase we follow Holly Chase as the main character. She was chosen to be the Scrooge by Project Scrooge this year because she is very greedy. She learned that from her stepmother and her stepmother has passed away and is kind of acting as the Bob Marley of like her story. So she gets visited by three ghosts, past, present, and future, kind of laughs them off, thinks it's a joke and not real, and then she dies the next day on Christmas. So once she dies, we are following her afterlife, hence the title of the book, when she is working for Project Scrooge as the ghost of Christmas past. So every year they pick a Scrooge to focus on. They kind of work to find out um, what they're all about, which characters kind of fit in with um, the people in their lives. So like they're Bob Marley, they're Belle, etc. 
and they try to use their past memories and everything to convince them to change. And it's very interesting to see <laughs> that whole process. So when we're following Holly, it's like five or six years after she has died. So she has been like a well-established part of the Scrooge project. And then the Scrooge for this year is a boy named Ethan, who just happens to be the same age Holly was when she died. And she kind of starts to fall for him. <laughs> And that's kind of the main premise of the story and then a lot happens and it's it's a long ride but it's very good and I suggest you read it. I definitely see why Emma Books rereads this book every year at Christmas time. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, yeah definitely go check it out if you like these Christmas Carol retellings. I highly recommend and I had a very good time with my little Christmassy self-care kind of day just reading and not worrying about anything else and doing my fun Christmassy things. Thank you so much for coming along with me and I will see you in my next video. Bye!